Hi, it's Brian the Scrap Guy, and I'm going to show you a very simple and quick layout today using three sheets of paper. Um, the first sheet is a light green polka dot and white. Um, the polka dots are embossed with a glaze, so they are raised and shiny. The second sheet is a we call these non-solid solids in my business. Um, it's an embossed sheet of paper, and it is uh, by Deja Views, and it's called Green Trolleys. And I got it at Michael's today. It was like $1.25 for the sheet. And the last page is a dark green and light green polka dot that is actually double-sided that comes from a Christmas stack, but luckily they all work together. I actually purchased a really cool card uh, while I was in Vietnam in June. And I'm not big into the Zodiac, but this has is a cancer card, which I'm a cancer. Uh, June 23rd is my birthday. Um, and that came with a saying, and I printed it out in a bright green with white print on the printer today and used Illustrator to get the box the right size. The card is 6x6. Six six. The internal box that I printed green with white type um, is 5 and a half so that you get about an eighth of an inch all the way around. In preparation, I also found some great ribbon, a polka dot and a stripe at Michael's, very inexpensive. I think they were like $1.50 a roll. And then put them along the top and the back by just putting the adhesive on the back and applying every other one. And then I went back in with my scissors and did the cuts to give them some dimension. So that's going to be the focal point of my card. Uh, the best part about it is that the saying on the inside of the card, the first line is, um, the signs of the zodiac, cancer. They love to collect or keep mementos such as scrapbooks and other bits and pieces that bring back memories of good times and people they care about, which I thought was quite fitting for um, this particular project. I've been holding on to it for a while and looking forward to actually um, seeing it completed. It's one of those pretty papers that you don't ever want to do because you don't want to lose it, but today we're putting it to work. So first off, you take your card and you apply all of the trim that you want. It's very simple. Um, don't want too many frills. So I, then I take my ATG gun and I'm using the high tack acid free tape here because I'm going to apply it for the ribbon as well. Quarter inch wide. And I obviously can't seem to keep it on the table. One more for good measure. I have pre measured on my first sheet of paper, which I cut down to 6 by 12. So basically I just cut it in half, and then I made some measure marks on the paper where I'm going to place my card. And let's see if I can see the measure marks while I place the card. Because once it's down, it's down, guys, because this tape does not come back up. So here we go. It's down. Step number one. So then I take the second sheet, which is the light green with the pattern, and I applied um, small studs that came from Joann's. Can you see that? Um, they come on a sheet like this, and basically I just take the sheet and cover it up the center of each twirly. It looks like a windmill uh, with my tweezers to get the placement right, and then I just stick it down with my finger. And it gives it a little bit of bling, but still not too much. Still kind of gives it that masculine flair. Um, not that the ribbons did, but, you know, a little bit never hurt anybody. So, on the back, I have pre-measured half-inch marks, which I don't think you can see. There you go. With my pencil. So I'm going to turn my card over, and I'm going to run my ATG gun down the side. And I'm always looking to save paper, especially paper that I really like. So I have um, taken it and just cut it in two inch strips. And so what I'm basically doing is I'm making my own 12 by 12 piece by piecing the pieces of paper together. So I'm going to take my first two and a half inch strip, which I've marked which side is going to go towards the paper. And then I just line it up with my marks. And again, using that high tack, once it's down, there's no going back. And then taking it to the other side. I 
obviously I can't see today. Yes, I'm right. Sometimes you get a little confused when you're working backwards. So that's now the front of my card, or the front of my layout, right side up. So then I do it again, and this time I'm actually going to show you what I did. I have this great ruler that is clear. Um, we used them when I was in college for pattern making. And basically I just line it up on the edge of the paper. At, it's done in um, eighth inch segments, so half inch is a little larger inch between the two. The total ruler is two inches wide, uh, and it's 12 inches long. So I just make my mark. Again, apply my adhesive. And I'm just using normal adhesive for this back page, this back half, because it's not sticking to... Um, I don't have to make sure that it sticks with the extra weight. So then I've marked it here too as to what side is going to go towards the inside. And then I just line it up and stick it down. Line it up and stick it down. And what a layout. Let me see if I can what a layout. I'm going to post a picture on my blog as well as a sketch for this, but I really, really like the way it turned out. Pretty simple. Took all of 20 minutes to make and only um, six minutes to put together. So did all the pre-work before I started the video. But you'll be able to see a great picture on my blog and uh, get the sketch for it. Thanks so much for stopping in and I appreciate all the comments. Take care.